Today at the Tower Hill compound, there were hot dog and soda treats for the employees, truck drivers, and some of the cane farmers who have delivered to the factory during the crop season. Although the year started off on a slow pace, it ended relatively well. So today, the factory had what they called a sweet wrap-up of its 55th season, according to ASR BSI's Cain Farmers Relations Manager, Olivia Carballo Aviles. We usually have this event in the start of the crop season. Uh, of course, we were unable to do that, but uh, we still want to end off this crop very positive. Uh, we have some very positive um, numbers, even though we had uh, major challenges during this crop. At this time, we have uh, 1 million, 1.1 million, Five, five million tons of cane, um, which, is, which is relatively good. But while ASR BSI celebrated the accomplishments, there is still a pending dispute that needs to be settled between the Miller and the largest cane farmers association in the country, that is, the Belize Sugar Cane Farmers Association. At the heart of the matter is a pending commercial agreement that both parties are yet to sign. The association wants higher payments for bagash, but PSI's Director of Finance, Sean Chavaria, says the company has put its best offer on the table and that the BSCFA has refused to accept. There probably needs to be a reset uh, from the BSCFA's negotiating team to really objectively an, uh, analyze the situation, analyze the facts that we are presented uh, to show what the impact of their proposals would have. We have presented uh, uh, two proposals. We have looked at their option of a 60-40 value share. We have, we have said we are prepared to work with that. The only fundamental difference that uh, we we've have compared to that is that one, they want a higher payment for bagage, which we have explained to them we can't do, and we have demonstrated why. We have provided them with the audited financial statements for Belcogen to show that it is making losses and it has cumulative losses. The added step was taking of showing them the poor purchase agreement with BL to show that the tariff that Belcogen received does not include a value for bagage. But the BSCFA says its research information has determined the exact opposite. We have done our research, we have done, we have looked at the figures that BSI themselves have provided us every month, every year, in terms of how they calculate the payment they get, and we have seen, right, we have seen where they have unfairly been using the cost factor to try to see how you could have all farmers pay more for these things, right? So it's not that we are going emotionally. We, we went to sleep one night with some drinks and then we wake up with a, with, with a, with a clever thought that, okay, you should pay us more. No, we have done our research based on the figures. We have done research um, of other sugar industries in the region. We have even done research with Santander. That, that provides us with the justifications for a fair price. Right now, Santander, with our research, showed that they paid their farmers 54% of the gross value of the, of, of, the, of the... And your farmers are getting... 48% only. The BSCFA is asking for government's intervention, saying that the advisor that has been introduced into the fray, retired Minister Florencio Marin Sr., is only an advisor to the Belize Sugarcane Board. We do not understand that he came in as a mediator. We understand that he came in as an advisor to the Sugar Industry Control Board. Okay. That we have not received anything formally, officially from government that clearly states that he is there as a mediator. We made that presentation to him in detail. In fact, our lawyer, Ms. Marissa Langwood, also clearly outlined to him right the different legal um, um, implications mm -hmm. of what BSI is proposing and what we are proposing and how BSI is behaving and, uh, and how we are behaving, conducting ourselves, and um, he is aware. Marin, however, who was present for the celebration at Tower Hill, has an opinion on the way the negotiations have been going. It's not a take it or leave it situation. In any negotiations, you sit down, you discuss, you rationalize, the issues on the table. As far as I am concerned, neither BSI ASR nor BSCFA have exhausted the negotiating process. There is room for both of them to sit down and continue the negotiating process till they come to an agreement. That BSI reacts to say, no, they can't afford to pay. I expect that reaction. 
But I also expect the chem farmers to do their homework, homework and come up with arguments and figures and tell them, we go through this expense and we need to recover costs. Despite the fact that there is no commercial agreement in place, BSCFA's CEO, Oscar Alonso, does not foresee that there will be another protest by their membership when the new crop begins, because his hope is that there will be a bigger push from the government to move the conversation beyond this point. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.